Hi, I'm Eli Glasner. On this week's Stay at Home streaming column, two very different movies about fathers and their daughters. The first starring Bill Murray. Always great to see him back on the screen. The second is a fascinating new documentary that's just popped up on Netflix. But let's begin with the return of Bill Murray. Always a good thing. Here's a little bit of On the Rocks. Oh my gosh, do you look beautiful. Cliff, how's your mom's hip? Good, thanks. Good. He thinks you're my girlfriend. Grace. All right, so there's a taste of On the Rocks as directed by Sofia Coppola. And perhaps you remember many years ago, Bill Murray, Scarlett Johansson, they were together in a movie directed by Sofia called Lost in Translation. And it was eye-opening in, I think, a lot of us who grew up with the Bill Murray of Saturday Night Live. I mean, we didn't know he was capable of that kind of performance. So for him to be coming back together Working with Sophia again is quite something, but this is a very different film than Lost in Translation because this is about a father and his daughter. A daughter played by Rashida Jones. Now, she plays Laura, and Laura is a writer living and working in New York City, except she's not doing a lot of writing right now. In fact, she's just doing a lot of mothering. She's a mom. She's trying to keep the family on track. She's trying to take care of her kids, get them to their classes, their lessons, get them fed, deal with all of that stuff, while her husband, Dean, played by Marlon Wayans, is off being the CEO of this burgeoning company and and he's he's got business deals, he's flying here and there, he's going out for uh, business dinners and uh, well, he's not around a lot. And so she's frustrated, she's flummoxed, she's feeling neglected and frankly, she's feeling a little suspicious because Dean has a new vivacious assistant and he's acting a little distracted. Enter Bill Murray as Felix, the father of Laura, and a father who has some experience with being a scoundrel. Take a look. So Dean's going away a lot, huh? On business trips? Dad. Raise your hand if that sounds fishy. He's not like you. He's a good guy, a great dad. Sure, it's nature. Males are forced to fight, to dominate, and to impregnate all females. So there you go, not a big uh, believer in monogamy, this guy. And perhaps because of his own life experience, he suggests that she needs to keep a watchful eye. Begins with a little snooping on the phone, noticing his behavior, some patterns, and it escalates to actually going on a stakeout, uh, following the husband around town in New York City. And he pulls up to that, that, that night to pick up his daughter in a cherry red convertible. This is your idea of incognito? Coming through! Now, anytime we get a part like this for Mr. Murray, it's just a treat. And what a character Felix is to play because Felix is a legendary flirt. He's an art dealer. He's the kind of guy who actually makes an ascot make sense. But beyond that, he's someone who listens. He listens, he looks at you when you talk, he asks you questions. He's the kind of guy who knows the names of all the waiters and the doormen and he asks them questions about their kids. Now compare what Murray has to play with and that kind of character to what Rashida Jones is frankly saddled with. What if Dean's just busy? I'm in a rut, that's it. What are the colors that she has in her palette as Laura? Worry, frustration, and fear. I mean, her job in this film as Laura is to just watch what's happening to her marriage and concern herself. And we don't get to see a lot of her other sides. And I had so many questions, questions that Sofia Coppola didn't really provide a lot of answers to. What kind of writer is she? Was she? What was her inner life like before these distractions and these concerns about her husband materialized? What was that marriage like? What were they like as a happy couple? I don't know. And the film doesn't really answer, but the focus is really on Murray. And so in the end, I approached On the Rocks almost as like a, a case study in the Zen of Murray. How Murray can take 
the most innocuous situation and make it so eminently watchable, singing at a bar, um, getting pulled over for a speeding ticket and talking his way out of it with the cops. And it's he does it so earnestly. And whatever he does, there's always that little hint of a smile, like 2% clown. There's this sense of playfulness that he's laughing at the universe. I don't know why women get plastic surgery. Because of men like you. Mm -mm. I prefer the factory original. <laughs> yeah, and every other make and model. Thank you, I'm gonna take that as a compliment. <laughs> so that is On the Rocks in theaters now and coming soon to Apple TV+. Plus. Now, let's move on to Dick Johnson is dead. She kills me multiple times. Action! The resurrected dad. Yeah, the resurrected, resurrected dad. dad. <laughs> this is a new documentary from Kirsten Johnson. She first came to me when I watched her movie Camera Person, which is this amazing documentary taking her life as a cinematographer and cutting up all of these little bits and pieces, her favorite clips and sequences from her life behind the lens and assembling it into this montage that was greater than the sum of its parts. It was beautiful, but somewhat abstract. This film, this new film, Dick Johnson is Dead, which is on Netflix right now, is much more focused and much more personal because it's about her father Dick Johnson. Dick Johnson is a psychiatrist and when the documentary first begins he's winding down his practice because he's begun to battle with dementia and Kirsten Johnson the documentarian she's cataloging she's capturing all of this but as she does this and she's made the decision to move him into her family home in New York City uh, just like uh, on the rocks, but beyond that, beyond following what's happening with Dick, she also asks her father to participate in a really interesting art project. Take a look. Just the idea that I might ever lose this man is too much to bear. He's my dad. Let's start walking, just start walking to me. That's fantastic. Oh. I suggested we make a movie about him dying. <laughs> he said yes. So in amidst all of these life changes, she's asked her father to participate in creating scenes of his demise. And so throughout this documentary, we watch Dick Johnson getting crushed, getting stabbed, falling down the stairs. Like put one arm up against the wall, like, yeah, that's nice. Like, it's not gruesome. But perhaps it's a way for the director to explore, to come to terms with what is inevitable. And instead of a film such as On the Rocks about a father protecting his daughter, this is a film about a daughter trying to enjoy, trying to savor her father's presence for as long as possible. Now, a number of things make this work as well as it does, and it does. One is Dick Johnson himself. There's something about this guy. He has this twinkle in his eye. He has a face that just ebbs kindness. You want to hug him. You want to protect him. But of course, because of what he's fighting with, because of his condition, well, you can't help but start to notice the changes, that slow decline. But the other thing that's so fascinating about Dick Johnson is dead is what the director, Kirsten Johnson, puts into it. And it feels like this is the culmination of a life of working behind the camera. And what she's been doing, she's been squirreling away all these different ideas, all these different methods for capturing things, for how to tell the story. And now she's reaching into her toolbox to use all those notions, all those perspectives, all those different tricks to tell her father's story. And what story is she telling with all these different sequences and styles, even a musical sequence at one point? The story she's telling is of the story of goodbye, is a story of how to, do you come to terms? How do you face the inevitable, that end? And she does that with such affection and such... Humanity. He's willing to keep doing this. Right? He's doing for you. 
with love. He's doing it for me with love. Yeah, he'll do anything for me. It really is a, a powerful and beautiful documentary. So that is Dick Johnson is Dead. It's on your Netflix right now. I'm Eli Glasner. Thanks for watching.